who I thought in this video will teach you how to get the print address or any address for that matter. Uh, technically, what you can do with this, you can make your own uh, engine or whatever you want to develop. It doesn't really matter. Uh, first thing you want to do though is uh, have dumped Roblox. You can use CFF Explorer or Scylla or whatever, but you need IDA, uh, this weird person that's 50 years old. So uh, you want to go to strings. It takes about like, I don't know, like 30 minutes to one hour. Mine is already idle, as you can see right down there. It's already idle, so which is good. Uh, the first thing we're going to do though is we're going to go into the search queue and type in our first address. So video recording started and this makes a basic input like printing and stuff and uh so yeah it barely it updates like i don't know like a lot so this is our rtti data rtti data so as you can see right here this is the uh main string function if you double press it, nothing's gonna happen because we don't have an you have to jump into the cross reference so this is it this is the sub and then it's gonna push so that's the text, and you can see here, this is, you guys are probably confused, like, what the heck is this? This is actually assembly code, so we can see right here, uh, we can copy this if you want, I'm not too sure why would you want to copy it, so, uh, you can still copy it, I'm still gonna copy it, so let's go to copy, print assembly function, or oh, I'm actually gonna use Lua print, so it makes it more clear. Alright, sorry, I had to deal with that kid, but anyways, this is the assembly code push offset. So, uh, the first thing you do is that when you jump into this, uh, tree is, uh, is that, uh, you can see here, you got this assembly code, uh, you can make it any color you want, I don't know, why would you want to make it to any color? I think personally like white, so why not, now we're going to do is prego here, we're going to go into, we don't have a pursuit button, but we're going to press F5, which, uh, decompiles, this code, but what, what a lot of people do is they think that this is the address, which is not, this is the R data, and if you go here, oh, a lot of people think that this right here is the code, or, or this is the address, well, you're, you're correct, this is the address, uh, same thing over here, so this is the, uh, this is the function line one, so I'm going to go right here, print, print, line line number 135 5 or 130 5 so it's 9 number 135 string video recording started first first cross references reference so that's the details now the address you're probably wondering how to get that it's super simple it's right over here so you're probably wondering so that's the offset address so the address print address equals this not repeat and then the, the print argument now check the arguments all you have to do is uh, hover over this and you can see right here you can see right here int int and then dot 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 so I'm um, int int oops, dot 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 and then what you want to do here is that you can actually double press this to do it so this is the type type and signed int and uh, we're gonna go here type and signed int so that's it that's all you need to know guys really you just got your first address now we can use this for whatever thing you want to do. Um, you can also personally copy the whole function, but which is not good because this is what Roblox uses, so it doesn't always work. But uh, yeah, guys, you got the most part of it. You can see there's lots of extra verses, 596, but uh, we don't really need that. I'm just doing some random things right now, so uh, that's not important. The important part was the, about this right here, so it's going to be a line video line uh, 135 now in order to use this in your own custom thingy what you want to do is that you're actually going to go into um you're going to go into your notepad or whatever and you're going to type in using print type def equals, equals int cdcl this that's the uh, format um, it's not that hard to not like detect it. You can ma also make it random. You can make it auto updating, not that hard. 
int. So this is gonna be the argument. The number of arguments are right here. So int a and b. No. So now I'm gonna do it is using. Can I copy this function so I don't have to type everything? No, no, come on. This lar. Now make sure you don't rebase it when you do ASLR. You could, but this is going to subtract it too much, and you don't want it to. Now our ASLR, I'm pretty sure, adds it up. If you do ASLR, I'm pretty sure what minus is, so address, space, la layout, randomization, I'm not sure, I don't even know. So this is going to be the format, so congrats, you just made your own thing. Now to, to use this, you're going to have to do print. Uh, to use this, you're going to have to do print. Uh, no. And type equals well, there's print one error and info. I'm pretty sure four is info, so it goes like one, two, three, four. So this is print, or this is actually I'm pretty sure it's info. Yeah, number one is info. So now what you want to do is you want to do in print type int hello from and print. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's all you do. So I'm, I'm gonna teach you how to get more addresses. So technically, what you want to do is you want to get assembly version. You can use this if you want to use. Uh, this is just the details, and this is how you use it in C plus plus or C. Uh, and then if you do all of these, so this is how you use it. You also just paste this into your DLL Visual Studio Dynamic Link Library. Just paste it into the DL process attach to find this one. And uh, there you go, guys. You got yourself a working uh, exploit. Now for the ASLR, you're actually gonna have to do a specific thing. I think I have it saved over here. Actually, no, I don't. Uh, oh, actually, I decided, I decided. So let me just copy it for you because I'm not going to paste. I'm not going to. So this is the ASLR. ASLR done. There you guys go. You got you have a working exploit. You might want to use unprotect as well if you want. So some addresses use unprotect, such as call. But we don't need to use this because this is a simple print, guys. So, guys, thanks for watching. This is the updated print for to this update. It's gonna update next. Uh, so what you want want to do is just you want to go to IDA stream. So that's how you make your own print. I'll teach you guys how to get more offsets later on. But this is the addresses. The offsets are like numbers, like fifteen. Hey, right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, peace out.